अरे चलो यार अंदर जाएंगे चलो चलो प्लीज क्लियर प्लीज क्लियर जाने दो आराम से हट जाओ अभी यार अब हट जाओ भाई सामने से अरे क्या भाई सब ऐसा खड़े रहेंगे दोनों पे लगता है हां बंद कर अरे भाई तो बैठ जाओ अभी बंद कर अरे सब अरे क्या करा अरुण अरे शॉर्ट थिंग बट योर थिंग इज वर्थ इट हेलो चेक डियर फ्रेंड्स I was just uh, telling both Ranveer Kapoor ji and uh, Alia Bhatt, both of them, this must have been the longest walk up a staircase. But it was it was so nice of them to uh, stand with us. And it's an amazing thing that those photographers uh, who chase them in many ways, and they are trying to escape all the time. trying to get into an airport or get into a restaurant and there's this whole bunch of our paparazzi our, our photojournalists chasing and they have taken the trouble to step into the lion's den to actually go in somewhere and face the music so it was it's really very kind and very generous of them to take this long trip at this very rush hour and come and be with us just a small word about the function itself we hold this every year i was just telling our guests also uh, it's a it's a stampede uh, the number of people who take part in this contest it was it was fashioned out about 20 22 years ago uh, when we felt that mumbai as a vibrant city should also have some milestones and what better way to do it than to do a calendar of the best photographs around it and that's how it started it was uh, 2001 now we've done almost 20 years without stop except the covid period and it's that whole it's this sort of milestones of what we have been through uh, which we record in these photographs invariably there are there is ganpati there there is the monsoon pictures but that is what mumbai is about so people say why are you repeating it but the judges choose these photographs because they represent what mumbai is so the best of mumbai gets consolidated into this calendar and every year there's a brisk contest of nearly uh, 1500 photographs coming in from different uh, different members different photographers and these get chosen i was just telling our guests that it was just it just seemed yesterday five or six years ago when mahesh bhat ji was here bhat sahab was here along with uh, devendra fadnavis and he inaugurated i'll try and dig up that picture show it to them uh, 
he inaugurated one of these uh, calendars. The interesting part was that we couldn't do it in COVID. And one thing which we really need to honor our photographers is the fact that during COVID, there were one set of journalists who really kept us in contact, who sort of formed the link between the reader who was at home, uh, work at home, he was, in, he was sort of suffering from COVID, or he was trying to escape from COVID, there was no knowledge about what's going on. Reporters were there, they were all on the phone, they were not moving out, they were trying to do their stories from home. But this was one tribe which stepped out without any sort of fear to themselves, or very any fear to their health, and got those pictures and saw to it that news, the news flow continued. They also suffered in the bargain. Just to give you an instance, in the first COVID period, 2020, just after the COVID wave attack started around April or May, we had as many as 60 or 70 journalists, photojournalists, all in one, in one, one entire hospital. All of them had caught COVID. And they were nursed, they were brought back, uh, back into social life, and they continued their program. So this is what uh, the photojournalist has gone through. And it is this kind of, this kind of uh, honor, this kind of uh, uh, sort of presence which we want to record. And this is what the press club is doing through these awards to constantly honor not only the photojournalists, but for the first time we've also started the Video Journalist Award, which was given away by uh, Weng Sarkar a couple of days ago. So this is this is a, a tribe that is that we are honoring today. Not only that, it is also uh, a kind of uh, a kind of milestone that we want to recognize that photojournalism as it stands must continue into the future. Day by day, this profession is under threat because as digital media expands and as the pressure on media increases, this is the area which starts getting slaughtered. We have a lot of retrenchments and we are taking various steps for that, like forming a collective of photojournalists also, which is in that way, in, on a digital platform, selling pictures or becoming a marketplace to sell these pictures to the uh, to media groups which are small, which cannot buy on the general market. So all these steps are being taken. At the same time, uh, for our guests, uh, like I said, it's been an honor for, to have them here. And it's something which I've always wondered, this sort of symbiotic or umbilical kind of relationship between photojournalism and the profession of uh, acting, the profession of uh, the film industry, and it, it's something which people kind of laugh about, there are jokes about it, it's of course a serious thing, but look at it this way, I mean, here's a profession which makes this industry larger than life. Uh, really, so one of the photographs which has won the award, as you have seen, uh, Alia Bhatt is standing there with this massive hoarding pointing to Gangubai. Uh, by the way, one of my favorite films, uh, I think it was well acclaimed, didn't do so well at uh, the box office, but it's fantastic film. It, it did well also. Yes, it of did course. very well. Absolutely. It was one of the most successful <laughs> films of the year. <laughs> so, so, it is my favorite film, but, and it's, you know, the acknowledgement is there. It's got one of the calendar awards also. But what I'm saying is that this is the symbiotic relationship. Here is a profession which is built on what the people want. People want that form of entertainment, it is that link. And here at the same time, uh, the film industry uh, also becomes big, it becomes larger in life, and it's a symbiotic relationship which will continue, and we are proud of it, because it does, it is one area of life, uh, the entertainment part, the gossip part, the, the one where you sit in a drawing room, chat about it, so this is what we are, we are part of that, and here is a small slice that we are seeing. At the same time, I do want to mention that the press club, along with uh, various people who have come here, uh, we have seen that the film industry has got that, has got that progressive aspect also. Uh, I must tell you, 
uh, Alia ji, that your mother, Sony Rajna, was part of our Elphinstone group. We, were, we grew up together. It was part of the emergency. And the one way that we found how to protest was do street drama. So when you go back and meet her, ask her what were the forms of street drama that we did. It was in a, in a small way, we would come out to Churchgate station or to VT station and like gorillas, perform 20 minute short, uh, short plays which would expose the emergency, which would expose, uh, well, the, the authoritarian uh, imposition of the emergency. And that was one way of projecting. It was a passionate group of students which did it. And of course, many people sort of moved on. Uh, that was the period when Chabil Das became a center for protest, where people like Amrish Puri first came into drama and in from there on to Bollywood. And Satyadev Dubé was the one who trained a lot of these people. So we must, I mean, there is a lot of reality in Bollywood. Uh, Gangubai is a, is a moving drama of, of really what things have happened. I mean, what, what Mumbai is part of and where its connections are. So this reality, let us not only look at it as entertainment, but a very progressive streak which is brought to us as reality to our doorstep. Barfi, fantastic film. I've always remembered it. It's, it's moving. It sort of stays in your mind. Now, these are the, the point we are trying to make is that Bollywood is, is essentially a progressive uh, portrayal of reality, and some people don't like it. Some people don't like it, and there is that miasma, that pulling and pushing going on. But we would support all that is progressive, and we'd support that Bollywood grows, entertainment grows, and it must fulfill the needs of the people, both from the points of view of bringing reality and bringing entertainment to the doorsteps of the people. Uh, with these few words, welcome again to the portals of the small press club. And it's really fine and nice to have you. With that, we'll now, um, uh, we'll now start the, uh, we'll unveil and launch the Press Club calendar Mumbai Moments, as it is called. And, it, and that's what I explained, that it captures the milestone. And can I request uh, the, the Mumbai Moments calendar to be brought up? We'll unveil that. But you can all open one one thing, one one. you know, some different yeah, things. Everybody can have a different thing. Here you can see it clearly. Oh. <laughs> We had a pretty tough team of judges which sat on these photographs, uh, spent quite a bit of time debating, and then chose them. Um, I'd like to invite uh, Arko Datta. He's one of the old and one of the big award winners, the World Press Photograph uh, winner uh, many years ago. He started an academy. Uh, to teach photography to students and young people, mentored a lot. So Arko Datta, he's not here, 
Uh, is Mr. Arun Arora here? Neither are here. Mr. Arun Arora was the other judge. Uh, he is not here. And Bharat Dabulkar. Uh, all the three judges have not turned up.